Hello, this is Geo Techlan, and today I'll be taking a look at playing Semu on Linux. But this time, instead of downloading Semu and running it through Wine, I'll be trying it out here with Lutris. For those of you who don't know, Lutris is a game manager for Linux, and it lets you play games that are designed only for Windows. And what it does is um, it uses like Wine, um, I think it even utilizes Proton in some cases. And it does a lot of the, the background work on getting those games to run. A lot of games already run with Steam uh, using Proton. There's some applications or, or games that work better with Lutris's uh, custom built fixes for specific games. But also for Semu, which is a Wii U emulator, here you can download and easily install Semu and get it to work without really having to tweak much ourselves here. Previously, I would install Semu straight from the website and I can play some games just, you know, by having Wine installed. One game I couldn't really get to work right was Breath of the Wild. It would have like this weird glitch where everything just looked dark. It was really unplayable and for those of you experiencing the same issues or the performance is not the best i'm hoping this overview of lutris will help you out here so to install Semu, you first have to install lutris but once you got lutris here all you got to do is search and this will search lutris.net it'll return one entry and that's because when you install Semu, you can choose which version of uh, Semu you want to play and install once you, um, once you find it here, you can just normally hit install and then you can get started right away. The cool thing about Lutris is that it does a lot of the, the tweaks for you, not just getting wine installed, but running um, special things like wine tricks. Some of those are needed to play certain games, especially Breath of the Wild. And so it just makes it a lot easier to do here. And so it has, you see two versions of Semu, it's because one of them was um, uh, played using like Semu version 1.17. And then I realized I can just download um, and install a later version of Semu. And you can do that by just simply clicking here, install another version. You have the option of choosing which you'd want to install. Um, so this is what I first started with. And then I realized I could install 1.19. I could probably install a later version, but I think this is fine. Keep in mind though, um, once you install Semu, it'll be almost like having it installed uh, manually from the Semu site because you'll still need to um, go to the files, browse files, and make a few changes. So like right here, for example, if you wanted to add the, um, the keys.txt with the list of uh, games that you have, you can do that there, like that, for example. And so this is like having access to the actual Semu installation folder. And it's really that easy. Um, let's go ahead and hit play on this one. All the games I tried um, worked, so that's Mario Kart, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Donkey Kong. The other cool thing about uh, Lutris is that um, you can configure the game and you can add things like do you want to enable DXVK, do you want to enable restrict to single core, do you want to enable ACO shader compilers, barrels game mode. So you get a lot of options that are just easily, are easy to just toggle on. So if we go back to the game itself here, Mario Kart 8 runs pretty smooth here. It's interesting the other version of Semu was showing up green, but who knows, I could have enabled some tweak here that I didn't on the other version. I think even switching to OpenGL might have helped. So again, normally this game runs at 60 FPS. Right now it's showing um, the FPS a little bit different. That's just because I'm recording, so this is more just to let you know the game works fine. Yeah, just recording lowers the FPS by like 30. But um, you know, of course everyone can test for themselves. Next is Donkey Kong here. Tropical Freeze. A lot of times in um, previous versions of like Semu, this intro in Donkey Kong would, wouldn't work. It would just be like glitching out and I'd have to lower the volume to, um, to really get through it. Here though it is working fine and the sound works fine, although I have it on mute here for recording. Alright, so now we're in the game itself. Once again, disregard the FPS, although it is running at 60 right now, even with recording. But I don't know if you can see in the recording itself, um, Donkey Kong is flashing. And I've seen this with um, using Semu, even on Windows uh, and Linux. Um, 
I think maybe tweaking around with the settings, or, but otherwise I think the game runs okay. Runs pretty good and I, I don't think it should be an issue here. Alright, and last but not least, we've got Breath of the Wild here. This game runs fine, it should run virtually the same as it does on Windows. I've always had an issue with this particular version of Breath of the Wild, this EU V331, and it's never given me above 20 FPS in the Hyrule field here. It's kind of been unplayable for me, but that's fine. If you've got a good version of the game and on Windows you run higher than like 30 FPS, then it should be fine for you here. The game itself runs fine, it feels like it's similar to my experience with Windows. And again, it generally would hover around 20 FPS. Right now it shows 10, but that's just because of the recording. But um, otherwise, yeah, this uh, this uh, program here, or Game Manager Lutris, does so many wonders. Normally to get Breath of the Wild to work properly, you go into the terminal, load up wine tricks, do a bunch of stuff. And that can be a pain to do, and this makes life a lot easier here. So if you like Linux and you like Semu, you don't need Windows to play Semu. I think it should work perfectly fine. And Lutris is a very good tool, so shout out to the Lutris team for such a great job here. And if you like my video, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.